Hey guys, this is Ashley and Brandon Arvin. Um, I want to take a, some of our time to show you how to set up our RV, how to some of its features, uh, because we love RVing and hopefully this is helpful for those that are either in the market to purchase an RV, uh, in the market to rent an RV, or for those that rent our motor coach from us. Um, this will hopefully alleviate some of your anxiety uh, before you end up taking this out on the road and throwing all of your family in there and setting up at your own campsite. So I'm going to do a series of videos. Um, that way that it's not some long hour long video that you have to like, you know, scroll through and try to find out what you need from it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the features of the RV. This is the 2017 Thor motor coach. It's the ACE 30.3 model. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna walk around to this side here. Uh, this particular motor coach is 31 feet long. Um, it's got a 19 foot awning here. And on this side, we really like to classify this as more of like the fun side, right? The party side. Uh, this is where you'll probably be spending the majority of your time um, if you're outside the RV at your campsite. So. I'll come on around here, show you some of these compartments. All right, first compartment we have here is you've got your fresh water fill tank. This is how you fill it up. And we have uh, some stabilizer brackets that we keep in here. Think of it as just like, you know, a trapezoid that'll sit underneath uh, the frame and it'll minimize some of the, the wobbling or the shaking as many teenagers going in and out, uh, not needed but it's something that's available if uh, you choose to use it. Now, down here you have the fresh water fill tanks drain. All right, right here it's closed. This is all you do to turn it on, all right, to where it'll drain itself. And here is your fresh water tank. All right, moving on. In this storage space here, this is pass-through storage, all right? Good enough for, you know, like an outdoor rug. Uh, we have a outdoor uh, pop-up trash can here. We've got some awning stabilizers um, that we keep in here. I'm gonna come back to that. Um, here, not pass-through storage, but uh, plenty big. Uh, we usually store like a small propane grill in here that'll set on top of a table. Um, but it's got quite a bit of storage space. All right, now coming to uh, some of the things that you know want to do while you're out at your campsite. It comes with one TV that's outdoors. Um, this one right here will move around for you. All of our TVs and our motor coach are smart TVs. Um, so if you have Amazon Prime um, or if you want to log into your Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is you do, um, all this will go in here. And then moving last thing on this side is we have an outdoor kitchen set up. All right, so you got a refrigerator here got one drawer uh, we usually keep uh, some small band you know a small stash of band-aids here just in case we got one small cabinet uh, it's got paper towels and some cooking utensils in there um, you got your outdoor sink one thing with the outdoor sink is that uh, gravity does the best it can to drain the sink but just in case um, you still have some standing water in the sink underneath here is going to be your uh, your drain, all right? So you just hit the switch, it'll drain out, and then you're good, all right? We've got one little storage space here that we, you know, you see that there's a uh, set of scissors in there. All right, now we're gonna move over to what we call the work side, all right? This is the business side. Actually, one thing before I get there, um, You've got a two inch hitch here, uh, just in case you want to uh, put something, you know, and 
whether it be like a small cargo uh, contraption, right, a, a cargo hitch, or if you want to rig your vehicle up to be able to tow it, um, it's a two-inch hitch. Fuel. Does not require diesel, does not require 93 octane, requires cheapest unleaded fuel. Uh, so for those of you who are worried, because it only gets about, we'll say six to eight miles a gallon, um, takes roughly $250 to fill up. Uh, one important note here though, is that you must pull into the gas station with the pump on your left side. You may think because it's in the back that you might be able to reach it from the right side, but uh, what that's gonna cause you to have to do is probably have to reorient your vehicle, uh, which is not gonna be fun for you, especially if you're not very comfortable driving a 31 foot motor coach. All right, now to the, to the work side, all right? In here, we've got our wastewater hoses. We've got some Legos that will help with the uh, leveling. We've got plenty of uh, uh, power cables. We also have a 120 adapter. Uh, our power cables are for 30 amp, and we also have a 50 amp adapter, depending on what campsite you roll up to. We've also got your water hoses in here, and we include a coaxial cable, just in case um, you wanna watch cable TV and your campsite supports it. But I'm gonna do a whole video on how to set up uh, the waste water hoses. I know that can be a little bit uh, overwhelming for the first timers. All right, getting down here to the business. All right, so here's the wastewater setup. All right, you got your gray tank here and you got your black tank here. Um, we have an outdoor shower. All right, really simple. You just pull this out, turn the water on. All right, and uh, you can rinse it off, rinse off, you know, maybe after a beach day or uh, what we like to do is we just use the outdoor shower to fill up, you know, dog bowls, uh, water bowls, or if they end up getting muddy because we have five dogs and they will, uh, it's easier to do that out here than trying to do it anywhere else. Right here, you have your 30 amp hookup. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, in a separate video. You got your coaxial cable, and here is your water connection. All right, moving on down. Here we have on the other side of pass-through storage, all right, that we showed over there. Um, that's the pass-through storage that we have. Here's our generator. All right, so the way this motor coach works is that you can, of course you can hook up to city power or shore power uh, at a campsite, but if you're interested in boondocking and you just want to run the generator only, all right, here's your generator and you start it from the inside and it runs off of fuel from the vehicle. Um, and it's not too loud. Uh, and I say that because if you want to run it down the road, uh, if you're going on a long trip and you've got kids inside that are wanting to use some power uh, on the motor coach, that you can run the generator while you're going down the road and it's not. I mean, it's not crazy quiet, but it's also not terribly loud. All right, here's your propane tank. All right, so if, you're, if you need to refill propane, um, you'll pull into either a propane station or uh, some, most KOAs have a propane fill up there and many other campsites do as well. Uh, but you'll just pull up here, it's on the left side. And uh, if you haven't noticed yet, we have two slide outs that come off from the driver's side. All right. So <clears throat> two slide outs. And again, I'm going to cover that in a video of like an entire complete setup. Um, but I think that'll do for now uh, for the outside features of the 2017 Thor Motor Coach. Thank you.